ready or not, here I come. We're about to get some of this here. Back with some Rise of Ronin. We're about to jump right into this quest with Ryoma. I hear Genzui saved a seat for you at his party. Seems he's celebrating burning down the British legation. Well, you feel the same, right? Harming innocent bystanders isn't any kind of success. No matter how pleased Gensui and the others might be. Do they really think that's the right way to forge a new nation? <sighs> what do we even want Japan to be? That's not one of my strong suits. I've only ever done what I felt was right. Ah, uh, well, no point worrying about it now. I'd better find a way to cheer myself up. Guess I'm heading to the Pleasure District. Join us later, if the mood strikes you. This fool always trying to go to the Pleasure District. Join us later if the mood strikes you. All right, I'm assuming I got to go back to the Pleasure District for him, which is this way. I got a couple quests I need to knock out. I'll knock those out mm, off camera, a couple side quest things. But let's go ahead and teleport to the Pleasure District and see what he has going on for us for this quest. if everyone else has arrived <sighs> well shall we head inside if I can find a woman with a bit of spirit I might even enjoy myself All right, like you said, with a bit of spirit. Let's go Let's see if we can find somebody. That's Ogre with the cats. Let me see what she, what she got over here. If they, as a matter of fact, I'm on a quest. If I get too far from the quest line, it's going to start. Oh, you've been too far. You see, we changed our outfit again and stuff, too. The British legation was burned down. They say the big wig fled with his tail between his legs. Serves them right. Those filthy foreigners made off with my woman. I can't get the image of the wounded out of my head. This is a good chance to uh, up, up his uh, his uh, liking with him. Uh, what? Why, it was full of surprises. The government and education system are naturally quite different. But even their way of thinking is so unlike ours. I was talking about America in the other room just now, actually. I'm, uh, not terribly experienced with this sort of place. <clears throat> I was told to come here to chat over some nibbles and drinks, and couldn't exactly refuse. I wasn't the one footing the bill, after all. That's a big thing, too. Like, people not that... Is something that actually annoys me. People feeling like they cannot refuse something because somebody else invited them to it, especially if that somebody else is of a of a higher power than them, like of a, a higher billet, a higher status in the job or whatever. Like, oh, if your boss invites you for drinks, it's rude for you to decline a drink, especially if they're playing. It's like, well, it's an uncomfortable situation for me. Like, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't mess with prostitutes, and you're like, hey man, let's go to this brothel. I'll buy you some drinks and stuff and we can smoke a little bit and, get, and uh, smoke on some cigar cigars and talk or whatever. And, uh, and I'll buy you a girl. And it's like, well, you're doing three things that I do not like whatsoever. And I'm supposed to still go just because you're offering just because you're my boss and it looks bad. Like, it's actually unfavorable of me to not do so. And, that, and that's to me, that's like, oh, oh, that's mad annoying. Mind. Forget that I said anything. Hey, how would you like... Maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but the Kaishukatsu, 
despite his big talk before setting off about being a navy man, gets very, very seasick indeed. Oops, ah, uh, I talk far too much when I've had a drink. L let's continue this chat some other day. There's something I'd like to get your thoughts on, too. I'll just stay here and, uh, sober up a little. Till next time. Yeah, and, and that's, like I said, that's, that's still something that happens in America, too, but it's, it's even bigger in Japan. Like, I was talking to uh, some of my Japanese friends over here and stuff, and they, they'd be like, uh, and there's some people that I go to bed around, like, 8 to 10 o'clock or whatever, usually. And uh, they're, they're, some of them around that same time, they like, like uh, I had a friend and she went, to, she goes to bed at like uh, eight and stuff like that as well, ten o'clock. But she had to stay out real late, like past midnight, because Japanese folks, even like a Tuesday sometimes, a Thursday, especially on the Fridays, they'll stay out past midnight, like two o'clock in the morning and stuff, uh, drinking and talking to each other, like just it's not like crazy getting obliterated drunk like some of the Americans do, but it is getting getting drunk and drinking and stuff because it's like a big part of their culture. Same thing with Korea. Korea is probably even more so when it comes to drinking, but. She's like, yeah, she doesn't like to do it. And she doesn't like to go, but she has to go because her boss invited her. And this isn't this. And I'm in and because she's the new girl. So that she doesn't want to look bad. I personally do not care whatsoever. I'll get back into this. Quite something. Am I right? What do you mean? I'm as sober as a judge. Do you two happen to know this man? Could you kindly stop him bothering me? These three sheets to the wind. Even the two of us might have a hard time with him. Hang on, you've never witnessed my techniques, have you? Well, you're in for a treat. I can't keep on waiting! Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. See you around. Not exactly the type of guy you normally see around here. I wonder who he was. Yeah, like I was saying, they... She she feels so inclined that she has to go, or else is she is gonna look bad on her for not going, because she's new to the company, so she can't refuse to go when she's new. And like I said to me, I don't care, man. Like I, at work, I'm a, with my with my work and stuff too. Obviously, I got people, my superiors is over me and stuff too. And I've been invited to uh, out plenty of times or whatever. And I say no all the time. It gets to the point where people kind of stop inviting me. They, I, it still feels like cool to, to be invited, but they just know I'm going to say no. Like, I don't care if I just got there. I understand it's supposed to be a bonding experience to get everybody together and stuff. But, like, but those are not the type of things I like, especially if it involves alcohol. I just don't want to be around an environment because I don't like being around drunk people because drunk people are very unpredictable. And then if, it, if it's a, a smoking establishment, I don't like the smell of cigar smoke or a cigarette smoke, stuff like that. So I don't want to be in that environment either. And I'm an adult. I'm a grown man in my 30s. I have no desire to put myself in situations that I don't want to be in just because it makes me look favorable. And it makes if, if that's what you're going to do to determine my uh, ability to like to to work or to be good or to get in your good favor, then I personally don't care about being your good favor. Just pay me what you regularly going to pay me. I don't care about the, the bonuses. I don't care about the higher getting that sucking up to you so I can get higher pay from you and whatnot. Like, I, I don't care. Just pay me what, what, what I'm supposed to get paid. I'll go do my job. You don't have to worry about none of that stuff. I'm not here to make friends for you with you. If we become friends, cool, but I'm not here to suck up to you and do what you want to do to make friends with you. Take one step forward toward realizing Master Showin's vision. Come by! That place would have been a breeding ground for cholera. We were right to burn it to the ground. Speaking of cholera, a firework display to honor all who have died is to be held by the Sumida River. It's a shameless attempt to curry favor with the masses. But I'm all for fireworks. Blaze bright and vanish. Hell, 
That's how I want to go. Listen up, men. It's time we began the next stage of the plan. The Red Demon is dead, and the British Legation in ashes. We have the momentum to finish off the Shogunate. We'll take control and defend our land from the West's control. Hear, hear, and forge the world. Master Shoin, envision. Then I have a proposition for the next step in ousting the Shogunate. Kill Kaishu Katsu. Glad you're keeping up. With the Red Demon gone, he is at the heart of the Shogunate. And word is, he'll be attending the fireworks. Katsu? I've heard he's just another aspiring windbag. Is killing him even worth the trouble? It's the aspiring ones that you have to watch. Not that I need to rely on a drunkard for advice. Let's keep numbers low to avoid drawing attention. Ready to head to the river and finish him? Great. We're counting on you. Sakamoto, you'll join us, won't you? I guess. If it's what Master Shoin would have wanted. I appreciate it. I'll go ahead and scope it out. Let us meet at the Azuma Bridge. Give me a second, y'all. All right. Let's get this done. Let me snatch this up first. 
I, I don't I don't I don't think I like him. And I think Ryoma is gonna wind up betraying them. Or not necessarily betraying them, but just like not helping them. Once the fireworks start, you'll need to find him without anyone seeing you. You could navigate the boat's roofs, or you could swim there. I'll leave it to you and Sakamoto to do the deed. I'll stay here and keep the Shogun's men away. So are you all set to kill Katsu? The fireworks are about to begin. Hold on until then. All right, so I got a, uh, I got Gonzo staying up actually to level four off camera i just gave him some drinks or whatever and it got up to level four i think that might be the highest level but it, there might be another level i mean we'll see right now yeah see i think that's it faded it looks like it might be i mean there, there might be a bottle of a five because it looks like that that can still go up some is what it's looking like oh these are the only people, only people i can bring with me i can't bring anybody else anyways hmm, i guess gonzo's coming anyways but I feel like Ryoma is gonna not necessarily betray them, but he's gonna wind up uh, just like, nah, I'm done with this because I don't like that 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 dude. That dude's the other dude's. He's such an extremist that it's just it's just crazy. But I'm also sure that's probably happened plenty of times in history. Which one of these boats is the fool on? is perfect for our needs, huh? We can raise some hell without being noticed. That's too many people that way. That's too many people that way. Oh shit, there's a dude right there. I didn't notice it, dude. I was, I was wondering what, what seen me. Excuse me. I was wondering what seen me. Oh my gosh. Dude, shot me from the back. Uh, we're going to have to go through and kill everybody because there's a formidable foe here. And you know me. I want to I I get my side quests done too. Who was shooting at me? Oh, this dude way over here. Oh yeah, he's got perfect aim, huh? Oh, I had him stand on my left. I was like, what the hell is going on? Russ because I ain't had no stamina. What the hell what y'all was doing? Alright, so we're going to have to kill everybody. It's a good thing that the... Did somebody else just shoot at me? Oh, it's more of his fireworks. It's a good thing that the uh oh my gosh. Right I was trying to jump up. That the quest is not actually a stealth quest. Cause like he was saying, like, hey, make sure they don't notice you what it can be. So I thought it was gonna be one of those it's gonna actually be a stealth quest. Oh Jesus. Come on, bro. Get up there. That's so annoying. Is this guy an enemy? No, oh, no, they, they, they just drunk. I didn't have a chance to, to, to even be able to assassinate him. He did now. Is, is it formidable dudes up there? That's oh, Gonzo. How, how the hell did you get back? Get up here so quick. Wonderful little dudes right here. I 
couldn't see him. I couldn't see him. Nah, cut that out. Ah, I, I really wasn't paying attention. Thanks. Why am I not switching? Oh, it's L1 up. That's why. All right, so that's one of the formidable dudes down. So we need to get, we need to get the second one down. Let's go back again. This quest is going to be a little bit longer. I keep falling in the water. He's probably over there on that boat. Could say he's on one of the boats. That was smooth. That one dude over there in the corner just about to get assassinated. He don't even know what's going on. Could be this boat over here too. Let me make sure there's nothing not do down here somewhere. All right, there's nothing do right there. So let's check. Get Rioma, get out of the way. So it's either gonna be that boat over there. Somebody's gonna be on it. You know, I can't see anybody. It could be that boat. Oh, they're probably over there actually. Or we'll check this boat too. Though. Oh no, we already did this boat. Dang it. So let's go. Let's go over here and check this boat and see if we see anything. Okay, there's a definite dude up there. Let's see if there's another dude around here. I don't want to go straight up here like this. Come here. There you are. Come here, get up here. I ain't finished with you. All right, so we know it's not over there. So we can go over there to that place, or we can go up there. And I think I think we're supposed to go up there for it to progress. By my way, y'all. Why can't I not see him? Okay, so I can't get up there. Forget it. Let's just assassinate these dudes. You, you immediately knew something was up? Come here. Very nice. Let me get your mans, too. Don't worry. You wasn't going in alone. I got your mans, too. Make sure I got the whole crew. Ooh, that's a lot of y'all. One of y'all gotta be the yeah. I'm gonna say one of y'all gotta be the boy. That's okay. I don't discriminate. Uh huh. Oh, I wasn't expecting y'all to, to kill people too. I wasn't expecting that. I thought one of them was the formidable foe. Oh, he must have been just a level two dude. And I, and I, I looked at it so quick that I thought it was a, a big formidable guy, but it was just a level two dude. Okay, so there's more boats over here. And, and there's more stuff over there too, so we might have to go over there. Because we did see the guy over there patrolling the area.
my man was sleeping while the other dude was was uh, keeping watch. Mm, my lips is chapped. Y'all see that? Nice work. That was crazy. All right. Yeah, so it's definitely gonna be over here. That probably that probably that big boat that's right there is probably gonna be where he's at. But we still need to find the other formidable foe before this is all over. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what, what that does because it's not like I, I don't see anything. It's like oh, quest completion or anything like that. Or at least I just haven't seen anything that says quest completion or something like that. Oh shit, my bus, bro. I ain't gonna see you right there. That was probably mad disrespectful to you, huh? Get up! That dude sitting down like he, he, he could be somebody. They kill him already? Yeah, they could or either drown one or the two. Oh no, nah, never mind. Neither one of y'all dudes is. Oh yeah, he is. He is the formal formal guy. He, he didn't really look like it, but he is. Slice me out, out, out of my technique. Ooh. What was y'all doing? Y'all y'all just watched the nigga slice me up. Hit me with a seven piece combo and y'all watched the whole thing. I was like, dang, that was spectacular. Okay, this is 307. Oh, I think I already got one 307, so that's fine. We'll break that one down. Am 
my controller vibrating like crazy, like somebody's shooting me or something, but I know they're not. I need to save some of these things too, because I think you, you can, the bond transfer is transferring some skills from one thing to another. But I, I'll start doing that when it comes late game. Hold on. Get us up to this big ship. Cause that's that's where we're supposed to be next, anyways. Please climb up. Thank you. I appreciate you. I remember watching somebody do this fight. Oh, he grabbed, oh, he grabbed me. Oh, my health is crazy. Oh, shit. I wasn't even seeing that. Oh, you know what, bro? I don't ever use this for real, but I'm going I'm, I'm to use this. I use this on these guys. I'll save this just for y'all. Okay, I, I can still get freaking... Almost killed me. Oh, it did kill me. He burned me. Oh, when the old man draw his blade, you know it's over. The whole time he was fighting us with the sheep on. I hate how they don't put the weapon that you use as your weapon. They always make you have a katana. So you're going to overthrow the Shogun? Fine. Then what? Surely you don't think you can sink the black ship with that sword? If you've got a better idea, I'm all ears. Well, got something? I do, actually. I plan to build Japan a navy. With black ships of our own, foreigners will think twice before sailing into our waters. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> As for the Shogunate, you're not wrong. 
It's a lame duck. Seen from the inside, that's clear as day. But have you considered it'd be quicker to fix it than to spend all your time overthrowing it? So how about it? Do you two want to help me out? Murder, arson. Is that what Shoin wanted? Now Ryoma is agreeing to this without talking to everybody else. And I got a feeling that everybody else is not going to be too happy about it. Because again, they're such extremists that we were supposed to kill Katsu. And now that we didn't kill Katsu, they're probably going to feel some type of way about us not killing Katsu. Because they probably feel like Katsu is part of the Shogunite. But as you just heard, Katsu doesn't care about the Shogunite necessarily. He believes that the Shogunite is messed up too. And we should find a way to not necessarily overthrow them, but to fix them. So that it's beneficial for the people and for uh, Japan, you know what I mean? Spoke with Katsu. Uh, so that's, I think a bunch of these things are unmissable. But that's it for that quest. We did not kill Katsu like we're supposed to. So I guess a decision was made. But it seemed like even though the quest was called Decisions, it seemed like the decision was made for us. Like we couldn't. We couldn't do anything to make that decision. Like it, it legit was like you have you didn't have a choice but to to get him. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of makes no sense to call the the quest decisions and then you make the decision for me. But whatever, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm just here to play the game and it's it's been fun. So that's what I care about. I care about having fun and playing an enjoyable game and that's what this game has been. So all the hate has gotten is crazy because. It's, it's still an enjoyable game. It has its repetitiveness, but that's just like playing Assassin's Creed or Dude, Ghost of Tsushima or any of those things. They have all that stuff in there. Most most games have their repetitive. None, none, no games are really like uh, dynamic all the time, except for like uh, Madden and basketball and stuff. And, and the sports games are kind of dynamic only because like you don't know what's going to kind of happen next. But you're still playing a basketball game you're, or you're still playing a football game. Yeah, they might add some rain and stuff in there, and the teams might be different and a little stronger and stuff like that, a little speedier and stuff like that, and that's what adds some dynamics to it. But other than that, it's still the same repetitiveness. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I appreciate y'all hanging around. We'll jump back in with this reinventing the Shogunite quest on our next videos. I'll catch y'all in the next one.